so in this new blueprint that we have done we will when when this begins when this begin we will have the location of all of this at the beginning of the game okay as always as always we're gonna have a, I don't know first floor initial location and so on and so on first floor second floor wait 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 second floor okay second floor in each location and the third floor okay I have this to save on compile and success so as always I will get the world location get world location and then set with alternate click outside with alternate click outside with alternate click outside okay and then set the value at the beginning of the game set this value okay so when the game begins it will set the world location of each values all right and we want this to be global also and put it on a category that says do not use it on that category do not use it all right because it's global you can see it on the level also right here you do not want to change these values they will be changed when the game begins All right. you do not want to change those values so now do not use it you will see why I have those values global so now we have the locations and we can choose whichever way we want to take this okay with the construction script and we have our stop here and now what we're gonna do is go to our elevator and let's just simple <sighs> let's add a collision component floor key to 
Krieger. Floor. Okay. You can change his color to a little bit different. And of course, put it where we need it. Place it where we need it, right? We need it in here. So we put it in here. And I think that should do it. Let me put it in here. There we go. And as always, change the collision to custom, ignore, overlap, pawn. All right? So let's do something simple. Let's just when I touch that, I want the elevator to go up. Okay? First things first, all right? So I will have this timeline that will take that elevator up there. If both doors are closed, branch. And branch, right? If door is closed, then play this. Door is open. If both are closed, then play the animation. Okay, if not, don't play it. All right? We delete this. We add a new one. So what I'm gonna do is I will get right here get all actors of class okay and I will select the stop right elevator stops right here compile all right and I will do a loop to check what is inside check what is inside that elevator okay and I want the second right here get get two floor in each location this one not this one because this one is the one you use for the level I want this one I want this variable okay or I can do something better I can promote this to variable I can promote this and name it
top actor stop actor and and I want this to happen at the beginning of the game ok y aquí comentario que diga get stop actor components get stop actor components ahí está Let's end this video, let's continue the next video with the movement elevator. We're getting there, little by little. So thanks for watching, thanks for staying tuned. Bye.